welcome to my channel. In this episode I will review a yarn by Red Heart called It's a Wrap. In the second part of the video I will show you a couple of completed projects and talk about my impressions on working with this yarn. It's a Wrap is a lightweight blend of acrylic and cotton that works up into a beautifully soft and drapey fabric and I will show you how drapey it is in um, the second part of the video. So I have five colors here. This yarn um, has names um, um, of film genre and there are more colorways available on the Red Heart website but the five that I picked are comedy this is a combination of um, very bright reddish pink, blue and um, yellowish green. Then this one is called uh, Drama. And this is a very pretty combo as well for those of us who like uh, orange and pink together. And there is also some light uh, purple. Then this combination is called Action and um, it has some blue in the center and then goes into teal and then dark brown. Then this one is called uh, Thriller. This one is the darkest uh, combo or colorway and it goes from very very light beige uh, gray into darker gray or medium gray and then into black and finally um, this one is called Western and this one is a very soft um, combo of naturals or stone colors a uh, very very light beige I would say off-white in the center um, and then beige uh, in the second row and then the it ends with very very light um, beige gray I would say or wheat color. I like all of these colors and as I said there is more I believe one is called Romance um, it has all pinks and reds not exactly my favorite but it's also very very pretty and another one I think is um, blue combos of all blues in different shades but you can check it out on the Red Heart website. I will leave a link to this yarn um, uh, in the description box under this video. So this is a super fine yarn, number one. And it's um, a 200 grams or seven ounces ball. And it has 1100 yards or um, 1006 meters in one bowl. So this one bowl is enough to make uh, a medium sized shawl or a pretty um, stole or scarf. It's 50% cotton and 50% acrylic uh, which I particularly like very much because um, sometimes 100% cotton can be rough to the touch in the completed projects um, so the presence of acrylic fiber in this yarn makes the completed projects very soft to the touch and um, I will show you in a minute the shawl that I made. The knitting gauge in this uh, yarn is uh, 30 stitches and 40 rows on needles uh, size 2 or 2.75 uh, millimeter needles to make a block of 4 by 4 inches or a square or 10 by 10 centimeters. And it requires, uh, as I said, needles um, US size 2 or 2.75 millimeters and a crocheting hook. Uh, US size D3 or 3.25 millimeters. For my first project I decided to knit a shawl using the pattern that was already available on the Red Heart website. It's called a Red Heart Asymmetrical Knit Shawl 
and I picked the color Western for this shawl and I made it for a, fr for a friend of mine and I already gave it away as a gift so um, I don't have the shawl available but I will show you the pictures that I took. The pattern uh, was very easy to follow and I used the size of needles that were recommended in that pattern and also on the yarn label. This is size 2 um, US size 2 needles or 2.75 millimeter needles. Um, so just one detail here that you need uh, longer um, needles circular needles so mine are one meter long because this the shawl uh, turns out to be very very long in size so you need to um, make sure that you have enough le length here on the cord um, to hold all of the stitches together here are the pictures of the shawl that I took when it was ready It turned out to be quite beautiful, however to my taste it was a little bit more asymmetrical than I had anticipated. The dimensions of the finished shawl were 104 inches on the longest side, 68 inches on the shorter side, and 47 inches on the shortest, on the third shortest side. So it looked approximately like this. For my second project, I used the colorway called Comedy and I made a shawl out of it for my daughter and I have it in front of me here. This is the way it turned out. And I'll show you a video of what it looks like on a mannequin. But you can see how soft and nice and pliable the fabric is. And let's give you a little close up here. So that's what it looks like. I like it very much and so does my daughter. She's very excited about receiving it. So <clears throat> I uh, didn't want to make it so long um, as the previous shawl that I made using the ready pattern, this pattern from the Red Heart website. So I decided that I need to use um, um, some calculations and I had recalculated it in a way uh, that would make each of the shorter size appro sides approximately equal and in order to do that I reduced the number of decreases in half so in the notes of this pattern uh, we read uh, at the, under the number two that an increase is worked at the beginning and a decrease at the end of every right side row so it means that every second row in the pattern you decrease um, you need two together so instead of decreasing in the every second row I decided to decrease at the end of every fourth row so I reduced the number of decreases in half and at the end when I finished the shawl the dimensions were 80 inches on the longest side it's this one here and then 53 inches on the shorter side one of the shorter sides was 83 inches and the other shorter side was not exactly 53 inches but 48 inches so it was kind of close so it was more symmetrical at the end so when it was all done, I hand washed it gently in cold water and some mild detergent and laid it flat, flat to dry. And here is how it's turned out.
impressions on this yarn are very positive. I really like the colorways in this yarn that help create a modern color block look. It's very contemporary and um, I try using the patterns that are also kind of like less um, um, flowery and more kind of block looking or contemporary um, to match the color block look. I plan on making more shawls out of these or maybe um, long scarves or stoles and I might post them but since the yarn is very fine it it's very time consuming to make a project so I, I might post some completed projects maybe next year in 2020 because I have other projects on my list as well um, so for those of you uh, who would like to see them stay tuned um, so the, the way um, the, the colors are combined I didn't mention it but yes there are knots here they're tied um, each color is tied with a knot to the next color but um, they're very easy to hide um, in, in the fabric when you finish the project um, you just hide them and once you washed it it's almost unno unnoticeable so I don't I don't see it as a flaw I'd, I'd rather see it just as um, this is something that just comes with this color block look so I'm fine with it um, I hope you enjoyed this video I certainly enjoyed working with this yarn and enjoyed making projects for my loved ones and um, I will keep working with this yarn in the future and I'll keep updating you I hope you enjoyed this video thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you again in the next episode of my yarn work adventures.